Hello? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm waiting to see. Okay, it's popping up on YouTube, so I can continue. so I can hear everything I'm saying <laughs> it's a bit weird <laughs> okay I did not notify anybody about this live so I don't know if I should notify anybody will anybody come I don't know I will let me not be a scary, a scaredy cat. How did I say a scary, girl, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, scaredy cat, scary cat. Okay, so let's hope I could do this in less than an hour. Cause I'm really pushing it today. I was gonna like cancel this live altogether, but um, I decided I need to get my big girl panties on and just do it because I'm procrastinating about it and as you can see from the title um I'm gonna teach you guys how to do edges let's hope this works out on camera because usually I don't record myself doing edges because it it it'd be pissing me off like a lot so so I don't know We'll see. We'll see if she wants to, you know, work with me. I will post it. I highly doubt anybody's gonna come, but I let the girlies know, okay? So my plan is to do this live, teach you guys how to do edges, and then possibly re-upload this, like edited in like a finished format so you guys can rewatch it and it'd be a lot easier. I just wanted to do a tutorial because you can see my movements in like real time. Okay, so I'm just, you know, uploading it to my Instagram. I'm telling everybody that um, if they want to come, they can come and join. But for now, I'm going to be talking to the air. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, just give me a few minutes right now to, like, fix this. Okay. I've done it. If the girlies want to come, they can come. If they don't, they won't. They don't. Because I don't have a lot of time. I can't do like two hours. I can do like less than an hour today. So let's get started. Um, please be on. Can y'all see? I think y'all can see. Okay. Hopefully, no weird shit pops up, but child, <laughs> you never know. Okay, so first things first, I've already completed this hair. This hair is from the Disco Queen hair that I did. Um, hold on, let me see if I can upload it. Cha, I want y'all to actually see. I should have uploaded the pics before this, but <sighs> I'm so unprofessional. It's not even cute. <laughs> I have it on my tablet, so I'll just put it in a layer to show you guys but I can't show you guys my photo album that's a little you know intrusive uh... okay okay girlies I'm trying to find it um okay I found the picture I don't know if it's gonna Load. Did it load? Probably no, because I didn't. 
Hold on, this is gonna take me a bit of a minute. I have too many photos to count. Okay, okay, I got her. Okay. Ciao. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can show it. Um, let me make sure my video capture thing is on. So. Right, this is the hair that I'm using. Um, I just took the same hair that I used from this and I changed the color using like the effects and you can change it to whatever color you want. I also added a little bit of shadow towards the hair. I've been liking, I've been liking this method lately because sometimes it can look a little two dimensional. It can look a little flat and I don't like it looking flat. I want it to look like it's bouncing. Like it has life to it so I add a bit of shadow and all you do is select opacity and this selects the hair it selects everything besides like it only selects the hair so you are keeping like it clean versus it being messy I'll show you I like using this method a lot because it prevents me having to clean up later on see I'll show you with a different color to show you what I'm talking about like, it doesn't go outside the lines. It only contains within. Hi, I see a comment. I'm glad you're watching. Hi. <laughs> um, like I was saying, it only keeps it within. So you don't have to clean up. Because I remember in the past, I would just, like, do it like this. And then you got to go back in and you got to clean up and it, it, it it's nerve wracking. It's too much. It just saves you a lot of time. So doing that with um, the select opacity and then just like airbrushing it to like create shadows really works. And if you want to, you can clean it up. Like if you want one part to be more darker versus the others hold on I think this part like that now it's a lot cleaner you don't have to do a lot of cleanup and then you can lower the opacity if you want to a, a lower or a higher one and if it seems a little bit like what's the word sharp or it, the lines or the the shadow is a little off-putting you could just blur the ends so it looks like you didn't even do nothing it just looks perfect um i'm gonna keep that actually i don't hate that at all i actually really like that part being the shiny point or not the shiny point the lighter point and sometimes i'm a bit indecisive so i don't want to like merge them because i'm like what if i need the hair after this what if i can't use it after this i'm a bit indecisive so i usually will do that but since I don't think I'm gonna be using this hair more than for this video I'm just gonna merge them I'm also gonna add a bit of darkness near the the roots so it looks a bit darker in here even though I feel like that's not gonna matter cuz it's gonna be you'll see what I'm gonna do to it but just to help my you know my perfectionist side of me I'm just gonna do that so I'm gonna merge it with the layer below, which is the hair. I'm gonna merge it down. Also, I forgot to show you guys how you could change the color. Because a lot of people ask me about this effect. Um, I had a person ask me about this before. And honestly, you just go to the hue, saturation, lightness, and it changes the color for you. Like, you don't have to redraw it. You can make it any color you want. This is how I change a lot of my colors. This is actually a very cute color. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to like this color. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna save that. Let me duplicate it. And if you want it to revert back, all you have to do is click backspace. And if you want to create another hair with the same color, whatever setting you left it off, it's gonna stay there. So it's gonna automatically go back to that color. I might do this hair color, cause this is giving. This is giving. Okay, let's do purple. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so. I'm doing purple. I changed my mind, which is a bit odd. I was not expecting that. Should I do brown since it's a more beginner friendly hair? Mm, I don't 
know which one. Ooh, this is hard. Ooh, I'm indecisive, and I just... I just caused myself to be even more indecisive. Let's do purple. Because I feel like if you could do color, you could do anything. So, I duplicate it outside of the folder. Because I like to keep those files just in case I mess up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it. And here's where a bit of the bizarreness comes in. <laughs> this is where it gets a little hard, I feel like. Um, so, while it's selected, you're going to go to your airbrush, which I'm already on. You're going to select her skin tone and you're going to airbrush it on the edges or like the edges of the hair right so we know what parts we're gonna do the most with i'm also going to look at a a picture that i already have of this hair and see if i can do it exactly the same because i'm not gonna lie i really enjoyed the way that i did it so i'm gonna see if i can do the same exact thing Okay, in that one, I don't think I added a lot to this part. I didn't add edges here. I added most of the edges here and here. Okay, so I'm going to just look at that picture while I'm doing this because that's going to be really helpful. And we're going to see if we can finish this really quickly. So, okay. Sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing when I'm doing this, so I just kind of start off like that. And it's not going to look good when you see it like this. It looks a bit off because you can still see the purple. Um, make sure you turn off the folder so it's not two pieces, so it's not two layers of the same hair color. You only want to work on this one. And I'm going to lower the opacity because now I know where I'm going to do the airbrush. And now the hair kind of like blends into the, I don't want to say scalp, but like the obvi a bit more. So next, I'm going to do the same color. But I'm going to airbrush it in a separate layer on top. Now I don't need opacity. Now I already know where I'm going to do it. And you're allowed to be messy with this because even if we get real messy to the point where we don't know what we're doing, you can always fix it. Like, it's not unfixable. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm using the Avi from my last live because I didn't really know what to do with her afterwards. I was like, what am I going to do with her now? <laughs> so I was like, let me put her to use. <laughs> I mean, I already had planned to use her for this video I was like what person or model I'm gonna use for this video and I already planned to use her but I went a little all out I even drew like a salon what do they call this a salon cape I wanted to give full salon experience so yeah okay when it's a bit more covered now you can start with the edges so first thing First thing I like to do, I do like merging the two airbrush layers together. I don't merge it with the hair file yet. I don't. Because I don't know if I'm going to hate it or love it by the time we're done. Because sometimes I'll finish it and I'll be like, you know what? I don't like it. Let's start over. Hopefully we don't have to do that today. Like, please. Um, so I have different hairbrushes that I use for, like, IVU and stuff like that. And I use it for KKH as well because, I don't know, I just, I like the appeal of them. They're, I like the way they look. So, it doesn't really matter to me that they look a bit more listed. I like that. So, there's different types of hairbrushes. Um, when I'm done with this live as well, I'm going to remind myself to link the, like, the video to, I think I have it in my bio. Let me check. I'm pretty sure I have it in my bio. I have the link to the brushes that I use. Because there's these hair brushes specifically I got from another YouTuber. And some of them I get from Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of Ibis like paint brushes that you can just like input into your app by yourself. So definitely download Pinterest if you're looking for brushes. Most of these brushes that I have are all from Pinterest. 
that I downloaded, like the custom ones. I don't really use the basic ones like that. I like customizing my brushes and making sure that I like the way they work. Because sometimes when you use the basic brushes, they're not really to your liking. Now you can always make your own brush from the basic brushes. All you have to do is click that plus sign and then when it gets to the custom one, you can edit it or fix it up. Um, let me see. So yeah, I don't have to fix my links. I'm noticing my links don't have links to them, so I will definitely fix that once I'm done. Um, or if I decide to take a break, uh, I'll definitely fix that because I need to fix that. Okay, so I haven't ch chosen a hairbrush. It really just depends on what you like to do. I like to use a softer airbrush, not a softer airbrush. A softer hairbrush first like one that's not too what's the word like one that's a bit lighter like I can add stuff to it I can manipulate it versus let me show you one that's like this one you can't really like blend a lot and if you do it's it's a bit harsher I feel like it's more for like if you're creating like a solid line like harsh lines while well, these are more for um soft hair brush strokes if you understand what i mean like it's just softer in general now you can always use this hairbrush the one that's um a bit sharper and then blend it by doing blur but i like to use the softer ones so i kind of get an idea of what i want it to look like and then later on i add the harsher ones so it's a bit more I guess sealed I don't want to say sealed what's the word like it's a bit more like I already have the idea in my head once I start with the soft hairbrush I kind of know what I want so when I use the harsher one I'm already prepared for whatever comes along right it's like using a pencil and a pen a pencil you can erase you know you can work it a pen you got to really know what you're already doing when you're using the pen. So think of the other sharp brush as like a pen and think of the softer one as like a pencil. Like the pencil is a lot easier to work with versus the sharp one because I feel like you can make a mistake and you could potentially not know how to fix it. So with the softer one, I could really do whatever I want. <laughs> so yeah. And I'll show you. So I just start off by making like hair streaks. Especially here. I try to make the hair streaks a bit more. What's the word? I like to think of me drawing hair. Like if I was doing a lace wig. If that makes sense. Um, and if you ever look at a lace wig. The part where the root comes out. It kind of like curves. So I like to make it a bit more curved. You know, like that, you know, like it has volume to it. So I try to do the same thing. Now, I don't like how it's going, but I'm still going to keep going because just because I don't like how it's going right now doesn't mean anything, to be honest. It just means I don't have a full idea yet what I'm doing, but I'll get there. Okay. Mm, like this, I don't like. Wait. Hold on. And it's okay to start over because I'm not I'm not going to sit here and suffer through it, so I got to just start over. Let me see. Maybe it's cuz I'm making it too long. But she has a bigger forehead, so need to fill in more space okay but it's okay even if you're not sure how you want it to look it's fine hold on I moved it by accident I wanted to curve it yeah that's a bit better you know it was a bit too straight 
right now I'm just gonna be messy because I can afford to be messy versus when we're done I'm just gonna do it that messy. I'm already thinking about how I'm gonna edit this and I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna try to draw out the edges as well, but for this part of the edge, I need to draw it under the hair. Or maybe I won't do it like that. Yeah. I, I got an idea. I'll draw it on top and we'll just clean it up. Um, the person that inspired me to draw this Avi, her edges are big, I think. I like to draw it off what her hair, her hair looks like because, you know, I, I drew her face, so it's kind of like it's a good reference. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's a good reference. Um, so I'm just going to work off of that. I got her off a uh, makeup stylist. Instagram. The woman I drew, she's a... Uh, I think she's like... Is she Nigerian? She's an actress. She's an African actress. That's all I know. <laughs> okay. So she does... Her edges are like to her eyebrows. Do I want to do that? Let's test it. Because this is where I can be messy. Okay, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to fill it in, but child, we're going to try. And you don't have to use several colors for this part. Because this is the part where we're being messy. So, really go <laughs> go wild, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's that's actually really pretty. I like that. And please don't do this on the same layer as the hair. It has to be separate layers. Because if you do this on the same layer as the hair, I don't know if you can fix it. Now, if you're used to doing that, then yeah. If you really want to redraw, like, the hair strands, like these parts, then I guess you could do that. But I, I, I don't, I don't want to do all that. I feel like that's a, a little bit of wasting my time, just a bit. I don't want to do all that. So do this on separate layers so you, you know, don't have to clean up as much. Okay. I'm going to also check if she has, like, baby hairs on her, like, forehead. Just a good... Okay, she does. She very much does. Okay. Let me see if that will look good. I don't know if that will. Mm, will it even be noticeable? That's my concern. I'm also going to draw a few of them here. Because that's what I did for mine. Right? So I know that I want that. And then I'm going to lower the opacity. Because now I have a sketch. I have a reference. Now I know what I'm working off of versus not knowing okay I'm not gonna merge it yet because I don't know what I want yet but something I'm also gonna do is when I did this oh wrong brush when I did this for the disco look that I did this part was not covered it was not covered at all you know I let this part stay because it looked really good and I'm gonna slowly remove the airbrush from there. Cause sometimes you don't have to add edges everywhere. You know, sometimes a certain part looks good. Okay, I like that. Now, all I have to really do is fix the other parts, but that part is remaining. I like the way it looks, so yeah. Now, hold on, child, I just realized something else. Do I want it like that? Give me a moment. <laughs> Clearly, I did not prepare my picture. Okay, I didn't have the the lines though. I didn't have the outline. Let me see if I can fix that. Child, I could probably fix that with airbrush. Now I don't know how. 
how long this is going to take me. Okay. Okay, that's a bit better. Because I didn't have lines. I must have drew the lines while I was drawing. Did I draw the hair then? No, I didn't. So why didn't I have lines in the picture? I don't know why I didn't have lines in the original picture, but... And I already removed the picture, so you guys can't see it <laughs> to see what I'm talking about. Hold on. I'll show you. Because I'm like, I don't see any lines, like an outline. I don't know what I did. Sometimes when I'm editing, everything just kind of like leaves my brain. Because <laughs> sometimes when I'm rushing or I'm trying to get something done, it really is just in the moment. So then I forget what I did, which is not great all the time. I really want to see the edge, so I'm going to zoom in a lot. Okay. I got her. She's here. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? I don't have a line. I don't have the outlines. I don't know if I completely blurred over that to the point where I can't see it. But I guess that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. So I covered it, so when I go back in with my airbrush, I can just do the same thing. And I did it on the layer. It's okay to do it on the layer, because that's just a minor detail that I, I know that I'm not going to need, so that didn't bother me. I'm going to do another layer, because you never know whether or not you're going to like what you did, so I don't like trusting that I'm going to like it. So I always do another layer. So just in case I don't like it, I can always delete it. <laughs> okay. Now this one, I'm going to kind of blend in. This I didn't need. Like extra more of this, but I'm also going to do a bit more. Because I feel like that was not enough. I feel like it still needs to be blended. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Hold on. I don't want that button. Is that better or is that ugly? Mmm. I'll lower the opacity just a bit. I'll also do it with no selection. Because I feel like sometimes it looks better when I do it with no selection versus when I do it with selection. Also, that color is really dark. So let me lighten this part up again. Let me blend it in with the... I'm also going to add a white line. The white line is a bit too close to that, so that's a bit better. Yeah, and if we don't like it, we can always remove it, so, okay, I'll do the white line after everything is done, because right now I feel like adding it prematurely, prematurely is not going to help me, so, yeah. Now for the edges, you can use different colors. Mm -hmm. I like using different colors. Um, it just depends mm -hmm. how I'm feeling that day. Child, my phone. Okay. Now that that is muted, I can continue. Okay. You can also use the hairbrushes to add, like, hair color and stuff like that. Like, the skin color. Um, it helps a lot. Let's fade. Because that is such a good tool to use. Just 
especially with this part of the hair it's supposed to be darker you can also use different hair colors I also pick up some of the colors that are already there Turning out pretty nice, if I do say myself. Okay. I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna use the harsher brushes to show you how I use those as well. And I'm also going to show you how I make the edges look a bit more, I don't know what word to use, natural? <laughs> like it's coming from the scalp. I really like my hair to look like a lace wig. I do. Both in like IVU and KKH. I don't know. Like the style. I like to incorporate that style. I really do. It looks really pretty. You know what's really weird as well? I've never really tried doing the edges. Have I? I think I have in the past trying to do my edges the same way like a lot of the KKH hairs are done. Cause they don't really, I don't think they added edges until like a few years ago. I don't, that's if the game is still adding hair. I don't know. <laughs> I've not played the game in like child, honestly. The last time I probably played it was like 2019 or 2020. I did have it on like my tablet, but I did never played it. I only used it for screenshots. Now, if I want hair inspo, I go on Instagram <laughs> or Pinterest. Okay, this is a bit messy. Let me clean it up. There's too many lines. I feel like. Which is not bad, but I still feel like that's a bit odd. Really use the hair colors from the hair you already have. Because then it looks a bit better if I didn't mention that. Because I, I feel like I didn't mention that you should use the hair color. Like use the eyedropper to pick up the hair colors near it. The good thing with IMVU, as long as you hold the screen to whatever color you want, it will automatically click it for you. But you have to hold it for like more than two seconds. Okay. I actually like that. I do. Okay, so when I'm doing the like the harsh lines, like the ones that need to be bolded or like just don't have any like airbrush or faded type of quality to them I use the second brush that I was talking about and that's hair five um, I think these two brushes do they come from the same place they do not come from the same place um, I think the the first one the base hair that one comes from Pinterest hold on I'll be right back
Okay. Um. Okay. Let me open back my screen because I had to go outside for a moment. Okay. Um. What was I talking about? I don't even remember what I was talking about. So, okay. The first hair, the one that's a bit lighter, I think it's from a Pinterest. I have my Google Drive and I have updated it with most of the brushes that I do use, especially the hair ones. I'm gonna see if it's there currently right now because I have not downloaded a lot of hairbrushes in like recent time. Most of my hairbrushes are ones that I got when I first really started like, I don't even want to say doing hair. I think when I started doing IMVU editing a bit more seriously, all of them are the same. I've never changed my brushes. I'm not even gonna like... I've never, because there's not a lot of hairbrushes on Pinterest. I will say there's more like background, um, like other stuff, like eye brushes, like highlight brushes. There are hairbrushes, but a lot of them are very similar. Like they don't really change. So I'm pretty sure I still have it on here. I will definitely update the, the links down below. Um, and when I do find a hairbrush, I genuinely, like, keep it and I add it to my Google Drive. I don't think none of them are not, like, hard to find. I think most of them are here. Let me see. And most of them I've used for, like, the longest. So, I want to see if I can maybe find it. Especially this one. This hair base, I love a good hair base brush. Hair 5, that's from the YouTube video. I, I know where to find that and I'll add that to the link. So like I was saying, when I want to add the harsh lines, I kind of lower the opacity of the airbrush so I can kind of see where I'm going to add it. Sometimes I don't need to do this. Sometimes I could just go off where I see it. Like here, you could see it. That's one of them. And I will place it there. Most of this I do with like freehand. I don't have to use a, a, a line tool because I feel like sometimes the line tool, it can come off a little bit rigid and I want the hair to like flow like hair, <laughs> you know, like it's coming from the scalp. Um, and I'll just add it like that. And sometimes it'll make a huge of a difference. Sometimes I won't like it and I'll remove it. But sometimes I'll blend it as well. Like that I like. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I like that. I'm also gonna add it here. Something a bit different that I did. That I didn't do in my last one. I added it here. Do I like that? Hmm. I don't know. You can also add it here as well so you know where to erase later on because these rarely change these lines rarely change and I rarely like blend them out to the point where it's they stay the same basically so I like to just keep them here so I know what I'm doing and I know It kind of helps me know where like the skin pops through or peeks through you know because hair is not just like a block it's very much unique so when I add these lines it helps me tell where like I should be showing a bit more of the skin and then when I add those lines so they kind of blend in a bit more I go back to the airbrush I set my brush to a more um, what's the word a smaller size so I can kind of clean it up to see if I'm liking what I'm doing especially here you know kind of clean it up because the roots are a bit thicker they should always be a bit thicker than the edges right and if I feel like it still needs and if it's not blending as good that means I still need to work on it a bit more 
And if I don't like how I'm doing it, then it still needs to be worked on. <laughs> bit more let's see what I got that's not bad I actually quite like that especially where I drew the hair strands I like to remove some of the airbrush because wherever I didn't draw the hair strands that means I want the skin or the scalp to peek through so the airbrush should stay there you know what I mean even here, if I didn't draw any hair strands, that means I didn't really want the skin to go over the hair like that. If you like it to kind of look like the skin is on top of it, then you can do that. You can even blur it, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know if I prefer that. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I prefer that. And if I hate that I removed more than I should have, I can always come back and add more. Okay, that's, I think that's good. Now, I have to fix it. Because there's some lines that I added that I'm not sure if I like the way that I removed the lines. Like, for example, the hairline, I'm not really liking what's going on here. So, I have to add it. Now, I'm going to be using the same brush because this is where I want like the scalp to peek through or the skin I don't know whatever you call it but this is where I want it to show the skin so I'm going in and I'm making it bigger and a bit more I don't know what the word is for this like clearer because right now the skin is a bit more blended with the hair and I want it to I want it to be a bit more bold so I use a harsher brush to make that line like yeah like I'm confirming that I want that line there instead of it looking a bit more faded or like blurry I'm saying okay yeah the skin should peek out there and you're like okay that's skin I know that's skin <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying but I hope it's it it translates well you know, I feel like you use, you use harsher brushes when you want it to pop or actually be seen. And then you use airbrush when you want it to blend. Like a harsh brush is not going to blend the same way uh, a softer brush is. When I use a pen versus a pencil, you can actually see it. Like it's strong, it's not moving. So... I hope that makes sense because I feel like I'm just I'm um, just talking okay no I don't like that so you can even lower the opacity just a bit because I feel like that was a lot too okay that's a bit better and I like to zoom out and zoom back in so I can see if it looks good off from all angles that's how I know <laughs> that's how I know I'm doing a good job if I if I look from a far angle and it looks good I'm like okay I never use this tool where you flip it. Some people use this, which I think is a good tool. I just never use it. I'm just opening layer after layer, and that's really how I do the edges. I'm just opening more layers. And I used I like to use darker colors, so the hair strands look a bit darker, and they actually look like hair strands. I like to also make the opacity a bit darker because now I know what I'm doing versus when I first started I didn't have much of an idea now I know which hair strands I like and which ones I want to look a bit darker so I'm making it easier for you to do the hair strands I like that I do I like that I think I do like that you know, I use lighter hair strands when I'm first starting out because I don't know what I want exactly. I'm just testing it. It's like a rough draft, a sketch, you could say. It's kind of like a plan. You know, with a plan, you can always work something out. 
Now, that doesn't mean when you're doing your edges, you always have to know what you're going to do. I like to kind of wait until I get to that part to figure out what I'm going to do. Because you never know what you're feeling that day. I feel like drawing edges is the same way as doing your edges in real life. You, you really can't plan it out. <laughs> you kind of have to be in the moment and see what you like. You see how I completely removed that peak of skin? I don't know, I just felt like doing it and it felt right in the moment, but I, I came back and added it. Now, I don't like the way I added it. Add, I did it, but I can always fix it. I'm also gonna use the same brush to add some hair strands. They're a bit more stronger. So it actually looks like hair. Does that look good? Sometimes I'm a bit conflicted with how I do it. I'm like, mm, I don't know if that looks good. I'm gonna also add the light colors amongst it because I feel like the hair is losing, it's losing a bit of definition, you know? I don't want it to just be one color. I feel like then it looks a bit odd. This also looks a bit weird. So let me fix that. I like that. I don't know if I like that. That's a bit too big. Now you can see I, I have been adding like the skin in the same layer that I'm doing the hair, but that's because I feel a bit confident about it. Sometimes you gotta get messy and then just kind of like work it out in the end versus being afraid to do it because sometimes they be testing me. <laughs> These hair strands really be trying it. I'm going back to the softer brushes because I feel like some parts of the scalp look bald and a bit too empty. Like here, it's, it's looking a bit odd to me. But you know what? I'm gonna keep going because. I can't back out now. Okay. I actually like that. And then for this hair strand, I could blend this. The hair strands you could blur if they're a bit too harsh. Okay. I actually like that. Dare I say it, I might merge it. Because I don't feel like I could do anything else to the top that's not, have, not already done. Okay, so now a bit for the magic part. How I kind of fade the ends. You know what, let's do the other hair and then we'll worry about the hair. So, I ain't even done that. Let me unmerge. Because I'm merging stuff and I haven't even done this baby hair I'm moving too quickly okay this baby hair is usually easier than most of them I don't usually have to work that hard I feel like it's the this part the root part that's hard this one I add one major color to it and then I just keep adding more colors after that and it always ends up looking good. <laughs> I'm gonna blend, blur that just a bit because I feel like my lines are a bit sloppy. Make this a bit bigger as well. I'm also gonna do something cute. I don't know. 
Is that too much? I think that's a bit too much. Hold on. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm also gonna add them here because my model also has it in real life. So that's why I like to add. I'm gonna lower it just a bit. And we're just gonna keep adding hair strands. Now I'm gonna add darker ones because you gotta add different colors to these, I feel like it makes it look a bit more realistic versus using the same color. Add different colors to it. It just, I don't know, it does something for it. It doesn't make it look one dimensional and then I can blend it. And you see how cute that looks? That looks so much cuter. And then I'm gonna keep adding darker colors. I just keep blending. Until I can't blend no more. <laughs> and so I'm like, you know what? It, it looked good. Let's stop. Let me lower. That's actually really cute. Even for this one. Add your darker colors. Now sometimes I'd be scared. The blending be going awry. Now something I like to do is add like small hair strands in the middle. Because... I feel like hair is very weird you know hair comes from everywhere so you want to add that so it looks a bit fuller and I lower that and it kind of adds a bit of dimension I should say okay I'm also gonna add I'm gonna use the other hairbrush and I'm gonna add those lines there I also like to add a hair tone let me lower that. I think it's a bit too dark. Sometimes I like to lower that opacity and I like to build off of it instead of using my full opacity because sometimes it just works better this way. I don't know. Okay. And you can lower it as much as you like. We can even lower that a bit if you want I mean, it, it really is to your liking because edges are never really that dark so I try not to make them as dark as the rest of the hair because I don't know they're meant to be a bit lighter I didn't lower my own step just a bit and let me blur that Do I like that? Is it too much? I think I prefer it like this. You know, I'm looking. I'm trying to test it and see if I like it fuller. I think a bit lighter. I prefer it like that. And then I'm going to add... this is a bit easy because I don't have a lot of hair for this and I don't have that much of a plan for this part and I just blur it <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like I said this part is a bit easier because it's very simple explainable you just add lines to your liking and I feel like most people don't pay attention to this so you don't have to do nothing crazy don't go too crazy with it just make it look likable I guess see I, I don't I didn't even like that child I did not like that you know what I'm gonna do I don't want this to look a bit off so there that's a bit better do I like the edges do you guys like them they're a bit iffy to me I'm not gonna lie they're a bit iffy but I can always fix them so I'm gonna merge most of the edges together because I feel like girl this is this was a pretty easy edge to do and you know what I'm gonna do airbrush I'm gonna pass I'm 
gonna take the airbrush and I'm gonna go over the roots so they blend a bit more you know they're not as harsh looking so it looks like hair it looks like scalps and I'm gonna decorate it a bit more and then you can lower the opacity to whatever you like And then a new thing I've been doing is adding a really white line here. I just think it looks better. It makes it look like a lace wig. So like, and here's what I'm gonna do. I don't like how it's using. I'm gonna smudge that. I'm gonna smudge it here as well so it kind of goes out into the hair. I'm also going to blur that in the front. And then I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm also going to move it a bit because I feel like it just looks a bit odd. And then I noticed something I don't like is the hairs here. I'm going to blend these babies a bit more because they're a bit too long for me. And then to make it look a bit more natural, like it's the white line, I take these and I go in like that. also do this I don't like doing this I kind of like leaving it how it is I don't know I've never really figured out what I like doing with that you can kind of leave it the way it is or you can add whatever you want to be honest I mean it's your edges however you like to make your edges look make them look that way okay and you guys also one of my favorite parts to do because it's probably the easiest is the little baby hair next to the ears I don't do that much for these these are really like my last thing that I do because they don't need that much work blur this they really don't I feel like I should add a bit more detail to them so let me try that again I feel like that was too short let me see yeah that's a bit better you can be a bit messy with this so you can kind of figure out how you want it to look. Okay. Let me see. I like it. I just think it looks a bit weird. You know, suck that in a bit more. And then I'm going to move it a bit down. Because I feel like it's too close to the ear. Yeah. I add another layer. Now I can really make it look good. I'm adding random hair strokes. They're a bit more clean. I'm blurring it so it looks a bit nicer. I'm lowering the opacity and I'm just adding different hair strokes. Sometimes I don't even use the light brush because like I said you don't need to do too much for this for it to look good. like it looks it's pretty like self-explanatory mm, I'm not gonna add that probably not need it let me blur that because I feel like the root of it is looking a bit off is it because it's not sanctioned I'm confused let me see a bit off to me. You can also smudge it. I feel like a smudge looks a bit better. And then my harsh brush.
Okay. And I just add some random hair strokes because it was feeling a little empty. Okay, I just saw a comment and it said, what brushes do you use? Um, I will link the brushes down below. I forgot to link them because I link them. They're normally supposed to just automatically add to any video that I do. But I don't know why they're not working. So I will be adding them down below. Um, once I'm done with this live, um, I'll add them. And I also post them to my community tab. They're mostly brushes that I found from... Let me see if I can go find it. It should be in any of my videos, but I don't know what's going on with the way... Oh my gosh, <laughs> I played a video. I don't know what's going on with the way um, YouTube automatically adds like my description. I always add it in every description, and for some reason they haven't been working. Okay, um, did I not put any brushes? I think it's in my playlist. I will add the playlist to, oh my gosh, oh girl, where is it? Hold on. try looking I just paint hair brushes it's so weird hmm. let me see free because I have it I usually have it it's so weird how I can't find it now I thought I had it linked in a playlist. Hmm. That's so weird. And I'm known to saving my brushes. Okay, that's really weird. Let me see something, hold on. Cause this is weird. <laughs> this is annoying. I have. I'm trying to see if I can quickly find it, so I can link it, so you guys can use it. That's so weird, you guys. I can't find the video. I will link my Google Drive, though. Because... I have a Google Drive that I keep all, like, my photos. No, Ibis brushes are really hard to find. I recommend looking it up on Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot. I also have a Pinterest board. 
where I just have brushes. I'm going to see if I can link that as well. So the first link that I put is the Google Drive. And then the second one I'm about to put is the Pinterest one. But you know what? Stuff never want to work in when you are looking for them. They only work when you're not trying to find them at all. You know, nothing ever wants to work. Okay. I found the link to that. I'm going to link it down below. I have a whole, like, board of, like, brushes. And you can look through that and find that. When I find the brush link for the hair, because that is a lifesaver especially when you're editing for imvu it's such a lifesaver i've used it before um and that's that's the brushes those are the brushes that i always use like and it comes with a lot of brushes and i hate that i can't find it right now because it's such a good brush pack but i did link you down some below that i currently use right now it also has some hair brushes in it it just doesn't have all the ones that i wanted to show you but i'm gonna find the video because i never get keep brushes oh you need access okay let me see if um because it should send an email to me that's weird because i hate how they do that because i'm the one that asked to show the link so That's so weird. Did you send a request for access? If you send one, I can approve it. I don't see one on my email. But most of the brushes that are in the Google Drive are also in the Pinterest. Let me go check my comments while I'm kind of taking a break right now because I feel like my hair is done. I'm pretty much done. I don't think I need to add anything. This was actually a lot quicker than I thought. I'm going to add a bit of a highlight there because I just feel like it needs it. Blur. I'm going to blur it and I'm going to smudge it. Yeah, send the request and I'll approve it because that, I think that's the only way I can. I don't know why Google Drive does that because I'm the one that asks to share the link. So I don't know why it just doesn't. Anyone with the link. Okay, try looking at it again because I just updated general access and you shouldn't have to um, approve it. Also, in that brush pack, I also have a link to Ibis Pro if anybody wants it. I don't know. I had it on there, and I don't use it. Because I have, um... Okay, it won't let you click the link. I think it's because I updated it. Let me share it again. Let me share it. It's fine. Oh, you got in? Hopefully you did. I had a whole playlist for my brushes and now I can't find them, so that sucks. While you tell me if you got in with the link, like if you got in Google Drive, I'm going to see if I can still find the video because it should be here because I've had to look for it before and I've had to share the link before. So is there any reason it's not here? And I have time. Before I leave. 
Okay. I'm just gonna have to go to my comments. Okay. Okay. That's good. I'm glad that you got in. Um, I'm still gonna look for the video because the video has like a Google Drive for all the hairbrushes that I use. And it's really helpful because I still use those brushes to this day. And I love them. Okay, I found the link. Oh my god, thank gosh. Let's hope that she is still up. I'm gonna link it down below for the brushes. Um, the hair brushes. I wanna at least upload that before I leave. Um, because those are really helpful. Okay. So, it's a video called How I Put Highlights and Glitters. And then she has a link to her full brushes. I recommend you download that because it just automatically, I think it automatically goes into your app. And they're so helpful. They're brushes that I use to this day and I recommend to anybody. So, yeah. If there's no more questions, um, I'll spend about five minutes and then I have to leave. But this was a really good live. I did this really quick and easy, so yeah. This was actually really good. I might as well show you guys the before and after. So this is what it looks like with edges, right? Let me put it a little bit more. And this is what it looks like without. <laughs> before, after, before, after right such a good transformation hopefully this video was useful to anybody that was watching it i am gonna try to download this and edit it and put it in a shorter format um like a tutorial because why not um so yeah thank you i'm glad it looks really good i was not even gonna do this color so i don't know if you were here before but I was gonna do a brown color and I'm so glad I went with the purple because honestly you can use this for any color so thank you I'm glad that it looks really good because I was a bit worried but we pulled it through I'm glad you guys enjoyed it and um, I'll see you guys also I uploaded a new video so you guys can go check that out it's a speed paint um look at me doing two videos in one day this is a lot <laughs> this is a lot but thank you guys for watching oh you just joined well you can go back in the front like rewatch it when i'm done and if anything is helpful in the beginning because i really show you from like beginning to end so yeah bye you guys i'm really glad really glad that you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye have a nice day